Welcome back to Adelante Chicago. You must have heard the news stories about measles outbreaks in different parts of the country. And because of this, pediatricians are emphasizing the importance of vaccinating children. Dr. Marta Yanez, pediatrician at Alivio, and Graciela Guzman, also with Health Illinois, Healthy Illinois, join us now to talk about vaccination and one more topic that affects our immigrant population. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Dr. Yanez, I, I was telling you earlier that we had a kids' fair here, and I had never seen the pediatricians, and we do it every year. Tell me, please, you have to tell people to vaccinate their children. Why do we have to emphasize this in 2019? Well, absolutely. It's because we've had a recent outbreak of measles across the country. We found that it's in children who were not vaccinated. So it's extremely important that we encourage all parents to come vaccinate against, well, measles, mumps, rubella, which is called MMR, mm -hmm. at age 12 months and again at age four years. Mm -hmm. Okay? Besides getting all the childhood vaccines starting at Birth, Why do people skip those? Well, sometimes they forget. Okay. But nowadays we do see a lot of parents who are not believing in vaccines mm -hmm. for some reason. They think it's actually injecting a pathogen into their child and it will get them sick in the future. Mm -hmm. So no, we have to encourage you know parents to come forward and bring you know, their children to the clinic and immunize them. Because the concern is not only your own child, is that this child is in the general population of a school, and then if another child is not vaccinated, and even if it's vac they are vaccinated, they can get a milder version or not? If, if, well, if they go to school... that's very mm -hmm. rare. That's very, very rare. rare. For example, okay. chicken pox, right. you can be vaccinated, but mm -hmm. get a very mild version right. of it. But that's very rare. Okay. You see that very rarely. But, mm -hmm. but the concern is that you're sending this child into a general population and, and, and endangering other people. Exactly, absolutely. Especially they can come home mm -hmm. and endanger elderly people who are right. immunocompromised. Uh, that's mm -hmm. right. T tell me a little bit about what worries parents about vaccination. What have they told you? Well, what they've told me is what they've been doing a lot of reading online. Mm -hmm. Uh, from anti-vaxxers is what right. they call them, uh -huh. who don't believe in vaccinations. Like I said, it's, they believe that you're injecting a foreign substance into, you know, the child's body, mm -hmm. which will go ahead and cause autoimmune illnesses. Right. You know, they're, so they're anti-farm companies, mm -hmm. anti-pharmaceuticals, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Right. And you can tell them that that's not true. That's absolutely not true. Mm -hmm. we, can have, we have statistics that shown, I mean, when was the last time you've seen polio? Right. It's been wiped out, basically, right. thank, mm -hmm. thanks to vaccines. Right. Right. As well as smallpox. Well, it, smallpox has been eradicated. And it, which is a very big word that can't be used lightly, right? No, not at all. I used to kill children. Yeah, it, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's awful to have to be talking about this again, so that's very important. Exactly. Another topic we wanted to talk about with you is um, this uh, public charge um, proposal from the White House that they're considering um, th that if people who are applying for a green card have used certain public aid, they may not be eligible for a green card. And you've seen that people are pulling their kids out of these uh, public aid programs because they're afraid of this. This is just a proposal, right? So a couple of things have changed in the mm -hmm. last couple of weeks. Okay. So the uh, final proposal has actually hit the federal register. Mm -hmm. And all that means is we now have 60 days mm -hmm. before this rule becomes final. 60 days. 60 days okay. till October 15th. But okay. I will say um, what's really important for families to know is the changes have not happened yet. Um, there's legal process happening mm -hmm. right now to try to impede this process. Mm -hmm. And we also have to remember that the majority of families may not be impacted by this. They may not even be using the benefits that are right. included within the rule. But on top of that, not all of the immigrant categories are subject to this test. So we're really trying to push out this message, making sure that families know um, you may not even be subject to the rule. So don't withdraw from benefits. Don't withdraw from processes that you need to support your family without seeking legal help first. Does this have anything to do with Obamacare. <laughs> So uh, the Affordable Care Act, the, affordable the Obama care, care, the Obama right? Care. It was one of those benefits that was being discussed, but this present version doesn't include it. Medicaid but is included. Medicaid, in, in some of its formats, is okay. included, right? And even just talking about it, super confusing, right? right. So another reason why we, we fully acknowledge it's scary, it's confusing. There's so many organizations and legal help here to help you um, across the state. Tap us in. Let us go through this personal circumstance with you, and then we, we can kind of be a better judge with you in this process as opposed to trying to unravel it. And it's so wonderful to have resources like Alivio. Thank you both for being with us this morning. A wealth of information is always.